Dave Tosh, Executive Director, Wenatchee Valley Senior Activity Center, and today I'm with Hal Turner, long-term board member and member of the Senior Center. I think 10 years of service on the board at least. Served as a director for several years and then uh, two terms as chairman of the board. Working with Hal has <clears throat> been a really, really great pleasure and uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, Hal's background uh, was uh, in the Idaho state government, quite a bit of it anyway, and uh, had a lot of financial uh, experience in, in the government, which has really helped us a lot here at the Senior Center. His advice and counsel has been, uh, uh, like I say, it's been very helpful uh, to me and to the Senior Center. So Hal, uh, You've been in the Valley, uh, living here well over 10 years. Uh, what brought you to the Wenatchee Valley? Well, I guess the main thing was that uh, we wanted to be a little closer to family. I had two daughters living in Seattle, and uh, uh, Jean had, my wife Jean had uh, two sisters, and, uh, and, and so we wanted to get a little closer to them so that we weren't so far away because it's a, it's a long drive up here from Idaho, about 10 hours, and uh, we got tired of making that run. So we moved to Kashmir and then later moved to Wenatchee. Well, actually, you're just down the street. Uh, well, not down the street, you're up the hill <laughs> on yeah. Maple Street uh, yeah. on the other side of Western. and. Uh, I, I know I joke around a little bit about it, but you could actually skateboard down here for coffee in the mornings if you wanted to. If I could, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but sure. you don't. Yeah. Um, Hal's passion is golf, and uh, he uh, he plays uh, several times a week, and uh, he has actually been helping my wife Luann uh, with her golf game. Uh, you want to say a few words about that? Well, yes, uh, uh, I've had a lot of fun with Luann playing golf and uh, uh, belong to a golf course that's about seven miles from here. And uh, I'm, uh, I guess I'd say I'm 88 years old and I'm still playing golf and that's my passion. <laughs> well, it's, I know it's been helpful. Uh, uh, I uh, have been out golfing with you a few times and, and with your experience, uh, kind of keep us... Uh, in, in uh, well, you know, good golf game, yeah. all right? Uh, let's see, so when you uh, first came to the Senior Center, it was before I arrived, uh, yeah. Yeah. and you uh, got involved with the board almost immediately. Well, not, 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 not quite. Uh, uh, we came here in 2008, we moved here, and uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, in 2009, I think we we joined the senior center, and uh, and from that point on, we've been pretty active. Uh, I've been more active than Jean, and that Jean was uh, a volunteer for the Humane Society, and and I did my volunteering here, and we were used to volunteering because we did a lot of it in Idaho. So that's how I got connected with the board. Then somebody suggested I should run for election in uh, 2000, I forgot the year now, uh, I think it was 13. And uh, I ran and got reelected as a director. And then I got elected as board chairman for four years and I am a past chairman of the board. Yeah. And so uh, I know your wife, Jean, you mentioned her uh, volunteering. She also uh, has participated in our exercise program. Oh, yes. So. Yeah. She's very active in the exercise program and, uh, uh, and, and, that, and she, she, she loves that. And the program is good. And it's like so many other programs here. They're all good. And uh, uh, we're very impressed with this, this senior center. Memory serves me. Um, I think she uh, she was involved in aerobics and also uh, yoga. Yes, she was yeah. in aerobics and yoga. Yeah. yoga. Yeah, that's yeah, right. In the mornings. So yes. Saw her qu quite often while yeah. we were open. Yeah, right. You know. Yeah. So uh, I think I remember you telling me the story about how uh, you took on the the project of building 
<laughs> a new parking lot here at the center. You want to talk a few minutes about your experience with that? Yes, uh, I was appointed, uh, I don't know what year, I've forgotten right now, but um, I was appointed as committee chairman in charge of the parking lot. And so, uh, renovation, or actually construction. And I worked with the engineers and the designers, and uh, uh, we got that done. And about that time, Dave got here, you got here, and uh, you jumped right in, and, and you helped uh, clean it up and get, get everything ready to have cars out there. And we have 78 spaces, and it's really added to this uh, senior center. Yeah, I, uh, when I... Uh... When I arrived, it was in July of, uh, what year was that, 2013. And I think the second day I was here, I heard all this rumbling outside. And I think, you know, I looked out there and here were these road graders and, and all this heavy equipment back there uh, putting in the, uh, the 5 8 minus or whatever they call that stuff to, <laughs> to put the asphalt on. And, uh, you know, we had quite a little project going right off the bat. That's right. And so, uh, you know, you were a big help uh, help to us getting that thing completed. And uh, like I say, I'm not sure how we got along without it because that gave us an extra 70, what, eight, 75? 78 spaces. spaces yeah. And uh, there was nothing out there but dirt. Yeah. So really a, um, a big project that you were able to, uh, to get accomplished. So... Um, I know that uh, we we did a lot together. Uh, while well, as you, when you were chair, we got a whole lot done. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we got a new roof on the building. That's right. We raised all the money for that, uh, and a lot of other projects as well. Um, what was your sense of of accomplishment with regard to all of that? I mean, as a volunteer, and you're giving up your time, and you know, committing quite a bit of time and, and effort. What was your reward through all that? My reward to that was to see people happy in here and enjoying the Senior Center. The Senior Center was a great place for seniors to congregate. And we had 1,900 members uh, when you got here. I, no, I think that was after you got here, but you brought in, you got this, this uh, membership up and you did a lot of good things to, to improve the, the Senior Center. And, uh, it, the, I, I enjoyed working with the people. I enjoyed working with board members at the time, and and uh, I think we've got a very thriving center here, and and you've been a good part of that. Well, I I try to remind people of how we're organized, and and uh, a lot of people think that because it's this big facility with this big parking lot that somehow we might be associated with the city or the county or some other government organization and we're not we're completely independent of all of that and which is nice to be independent mm -hmm. obviously uh, we enjoy that independence but it also uh, gives us some real challenges right. just to figure out where the money's going to come from to pay for all of this and maintain it and, right. and upkeep so you know it um, it's something that I, I try to, to make sure that we remind people periodically that, you know, it takes a lot of volunteers and it mm -hmm. takes some really good board members uh, for me to work with to get all this done. And I truly appreciate the support that you've provided and our good working relationship meant a lot to me. Well, thank you. I've enjoyed it very much and uh, you, we've, I've, I've really enjoyed working with you when I was on the board, I was with you more than uh, not, <laughs> and, and uh, I mean on, on chairman of the board, and uh, I really enjoyed it. It's just nice to see the progress that's been made and, and to, to see people come in here and happy and having lunch and it's just a great feeling. and. We're really a thriving club, and a lot of that is due to you. So what, what's your, uh, we have, a, you know, when we're open, we have fundraisers, and that's how we uh, are able to uh, right. to raise uh, some extra money to, to get all these things done around here. What's your, what's your favorite fundraising event that we do when we're open? <laughs> uh, when we're open. 
<laughs> well, I guess I, in recalling uh, when we put the roof on, we it, that was quite a fundraising event. Yeah. And uh, a lot of members kicked into that. And uh, outside and outside businesses and and uh, uh, people around town and we really had a successful time to put and we raised the money from for the roof and and we've done that and other things. I mean, we've had everything from bake sales to to uh, uh, other things too. So, <laughs> oh, I was going to interject. How about the crab feed? Oh, the crab feed. Oh, yeah. They can't forget the crab feed. The yearly crab feed is just a great fundraiser. And uh, and I'm glad you reminded me of that <laughs> because I've always been at them. <laughs> well, we're coming up on almost two years since we've been able to have right. one. Uh, we're, we're hopeful that we're, we're going to be able to have one once we get reopened again. Yes. I don't know when that'll be, but... Uh, we think that we could uh, put a crab feed together shortly after we reopen because uh, we don't have any problem filling the place for no, people to. No, that's eat a very crab. popular event and uh, and and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> All you can eat. All yeah. you can eat. Yes. We don't run out. And so, uh, yeah, that that is a major event, and uh, I certainly enjoyed being part of that. Well, you know, I appreciate your kind comments, uh, Hal, about your feelings with regard to the center and and what we've done here. Uh, you know, the goal of this uh, of this program the, with the NCW Life uh, Vibrant Living uh, has been to uh, increase the awareness of, of the senior center and uh, and try to make sure that our community is aware of what it is we actually do. That mm -hmm. we're not a nursing home. No, we're not a assisted living. Uh, that word uh, senior center sometimes uh, people uh, misinterpret and so uh, I think that that has been uh, integral to uh, us keeping the keeping our organization intact and making sure that once we do reopen that people will be aware they'll come out they'll join become a member uh, obviously uh, becoming a member uh, is not required to come out and participate but it's very helpful to us financially and oh, by the way, you get a newsletter every month to uh, keep you up with what's going on here. And, uh, you know, you can join any time, even right now. <laughs> and so uh, I think that's been helpful. But getting out in the community, uh, talking to people and, and doing some ads here and there. But this TV show, um, the, the Vibrant Living, I think is going to be really important to us over the next uh, months uh, yeah. to get more interest and in, and continue to build our our uh, membership yes well i want to thank you hal for spending a few moments uh this morning no clouds you know we've been having Beautiful. some great weather it just reminds us of why we live here yeah. and um you know i think it, it makes us uh really feel good about what we're doing with regard to uh, the senior center and uh just thank you one more time for all the help and support you provided me to get to where we're at well thank you for having me <laughs>